welcome to my special corner of hell. I am Annalisa, the monstrous of the macabre, and I am the horstress for tonight's movie short. What you are about to see was made with an all-volunteer cast and features a story written by some asshole from Grand Rapids who goes by the name of Jones. You may have seen some of his work, such as Quandry, Black, Gary, or Mr. Perfect Michigan Maid. Having worked with Jones before, I can say he is no pushover nor a pussy. Now that I think about it, he can pet my kitty anytime. Let's get this shit show started, and I hope you enjoy. Sometimes I think these thoughts. Bunny? <laughs> Works every time. Whoa, whoa, slow down, killer. You got him. He's down. Fuck. It, it spoke. Spoke? It spoke. You might want to keep this to yourself.
It's cool. It's cool. Hi, you know me, I'm Devlin Dark, the spooky house guy, and I'm at Letty Park. The very park where some say the Grand River Killer stalked some of his victims. But I'm not here to talk about GRK or sell you a park. Instead, I'd like to talk about a recently acquired property. You know which I'm talking about, the Fulton Murder House. The very house where Samantha and her boyfriend stabbed her family to death. This property will be cheap to pick up due to its dubious nature and what's paid for if not to cover up a little bit of blood. So you better act fast because the Midnight Murder House showing list is filling up fast. For you paranormal enthusiasts, I will lock you in the house for a 24 hour period. Once you sign a waiver absolving me of any responsibility of course. So remember, if you can't remember the name Devil and Dark, think of the spooky house guy that drives around town in the Jack Mackinac murder van. <laughs> Back to the show. I hope you piles of meat out there appreciated that short. You know, a pile of guts does sound good. What do you say to that, Mr. Bunny? <laughs> Till next time.